Capture What's up, YouTube? It's Verdict Spring. You guys, another commentary. This time, we're going to be playing a, another competitive scrim in preparation for the Frag Cup. That is actually tomorrow. Um, by the time this is up, it'll actually be today. But um, and we're going to be playing some CTF on the map raid, and I'm going to be using the MSMC with Long Barrel and FMJ to get both the damage bonus and um, range bonus. Uh, normally, I would use this gun with extended mags, but since this is CTF and not hardpoint, I um, there is the respawn delay, so there's not as many people running at you all at the same time. And initially, I want to apologize for recording this in theater because when I was trying to record it live, my PVR was not um, responding for me. The program that I used to capture. It wasn't responding, and right here I actually killed my teammate. I told him I was dropping in the hellstorm, he did bless him. But the program I was using to capture was not responding when I was trying to record live, and I actually got a pretty good game, and I still wanted to upload it for you guys. And also, I'm recording the second round of this only, and not the entire game, because originally this is like an 11 minute game, and I didn't want to... Um, I didn't want to upload all 11... 10 11 minutes because this is going to be a pretty short commentary. What I'm going to talk about isn't going to take that long. So, today, what I do want to talk about is I want to build off of what I talked about in my last commentary, which is how to get started in competitive gaming. Um, in my last commentary, I left off by saying you will. Um, once you get your team and you start, you should start playing Variant, you should switch from playing S&D only or whatever you started at, unless you started in Variant, and once you get pretty good at Variant, you should probably start playing in some online free tournaments, like the Frag Cup that my team is playing in, it's a free tournament, it's hosted by 360 Icons, I'll leave the link to their website in the description if you're interested in playing in any of these tournaments. But this um, website hosts free tournaments all the time, so it's pretty easy to get into them. You don't have to, um, you don't have to buy your way in or anything like that. And if you do pretty well in them, you'll still get a lot of recognition. So they're good for getting your name out there, and they're good for getting good for getting more known in the community. After you um, play these online tournaments. Uh, for free or anything like that and you get known and you get pretty good at them and you start placing pretty well at in these tournaments you might get contacted by some sponsors or you might want to contact some sponsors yourself to see if they will you know buy you into some of these bigger tournaments like um there's some small sponsors that may just gb um credit sponsor you and that's fine because that still gets you out there it still allows you to compete in those tournaments that you wouldn't be able to compete in or you would, but you'd have to pay your own way into it. So if you can just get a credit sponsor, that's still awesome. You aren't wasting any of your money or spending any of your money. I wouldn't really consider it a waste because you're still getting that experience. But you're not spending any of your money to play in these tournaments. You're actually having someone sponsor you to do that for you. And once you get, um, once you play more of these tournaments, you'll get known and some bigger sponsors may want to talk to you about a sponsorship deal or partnership or anything like that. And when they start talking to you, they may be, um, good enough a sponsor to even pay for you to travel to LAN events or bigger tournaments like that instead of just GB online tournaments and stuff like that. They, cause just an example would be any of the MLG tournaments like MLG Columbus, MLG Anaheim, stuff like that, or um, the most recent I think was EGL8, which a lot of the teams that attended had sponsors that paid to fly them out there, and that's you probably aren't going to want to spend your money on that initial plane ticket to just to go to the tournament. That's not even a you know, you're not even guaranteed to get your money back. Uh, so having a sponsor would be a pretty good idea for that. If you know some people that could already sponsor you, um, that'd be great. And once you get known, you'll start getting talked to by some sponsors, most likely. And, you know, you'll be able to attend these larger tournaments. But that's all I got to say for today, guys. Maybe take these tips and, you know, get your team and start playing in some of these tournaments and get more known out there in the competitive community. Uh, but I'm going to leave the link to the 360 icons in the description so you guys can check out some of these tournaments and maybe play in some of them yourself. But if you like this video and you would like to see more from me in the future, 
please don't forget to subscribe. Friendly hunter killer drone deployed.